Hey guys, today's video I have some more Valentine's Day Dollar Tree home decor DIYs to share with you guys that I created for my home this year. So for the first DIY that I'm going to be sharing with you guys, I'm actually going to be reusing this flower box that I created for you guys during the fall time. I like reusing my materials so I'm not spending so much and I like sharing with you guys how you can reuse the DIYs that you've already created um, into some other DIYs so you can save money as well. So what I'm going to be creating for you guys is basically a mini candy bar for my coffee bar area and I was inspired by Chic on the Cheap. She created a huge one on her channel and I decided that I was going to make a mini version of mine because I found a sign at Dollar Tree that I liked that was actually mini, it was smaller than the one that she used. And I'll link the video down below so you guys can see her video as well. But for this DIY, you're going to need the mini crates that you can get at Dollar Tree. You're going to need the larger one of the two. And since I had four of these already for this flower box, I'm taking it apart. Um, and for hers, the way that she used it, she actually used 12 of them to create the level. It was like a stair level mini candy bar but i'm going to share with you guys how you can just use four of them um when well actually cut five of them with the stuff that you have on hand so because you're not going to see the back so i'm going to share with you guys ways that you can save money because i'm going to make mine basically with the things i have on hand so i took it apart and as you can see i have four and i want to stack them like stairs so i didn't have another one of these crates so i have this mini crate which is the other one of the two and i'm going to use that to kind of make it to be a riser in the back now normally if you were just buying your supplies you could buy six of these and then you know glue four together and then glue two on top of them and that's normally how bargain bethany and chic on the cheap made it but i wanted to use supplies that i had on hand and also give you guys ideas as well so like i said i didn't have the other crate so i decided to use this one so i'm gluing it to the back so that it could be kind of to add height to be able to add the other two on top when i line the other two on top i'm also lining it over kind of the border of the ones on the bottom now once i glued this all together i actually thought that it would stand up by itself but i noticed that it was still kind of wobbly so what i did was i had some jingle block pieces which i always have on hand and i decided to add them to the bottom of the mini crate and it worked perfectly and it leveled everything out so i was able to create this with the things i had on hand but like i said i will link the video down below of how she made it where you could just buy six mini crates or the 12 that she did and create it that way but you guys know on my channel i'm always trying to sh um, share with you guys how to save money and how you could do with things with the stuff that you already have on hand so you can leave the crate clear but i wanted to add some little hearts to it so dollar tree has these little wooden hearts that some come unfinished some come painted so i decided to keep the one that was pink pink and then take the unfinished ones and paint them different shades of pink and then i also wanted to take this little phone strap um this little phone ring with strap like this little coffee one that i share with you guys it didn't work for my phone so i wanted to reuse the little coffee accessory that came with it because it had a heart in the middle of it i thought it would be perfect to decorate for valentine's day so the ones that are like the darker pink i'm going to glue this little these little miniature coffee accessories onto them and then i'm going to glue all the hearts onto the crates themselves So this is the sign that I found at Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using to attach to the crates. Now I'm just going to use these jumbo popsicle sticks that I got at Walmart to attach them. Now when Chic on the Cheap made hers, she made it to where you can actually see the popsicle sticks sticking out. So it kind of looked more like a kissing booth or like any type of booth that you see like at a fair. I didn't want mine to look like that. I wanted my sign to look like it was sitting on the top of the top row of crates so I made it to where you can't see my popsicle sticks but if you see her video you can see how she did it and you can see how mine turns out and then you can determine how you want yours and you can make it to where if you want it to show then you will have your popsicle sticks glued a different way in the back than I did mine another money saving tip is don't paint the the spots that people are not going to see that's just a waste of paint and you're going to fill it with candy so don't waste unnecessary paint on the inside of these crates 
Also, I love this sign because you can switch it from for free or 25 cents. I think it's so cute. And this is how it turned out. And you can fill it up with candies. You can fill it up with K cups. You can put these little um, cocoa bombs that they have at Dollar Tree or any other cocoa bombs that you have found at Target or Walmart. The possibilities are endless with this little crate for Valentine's Day. You can do a, so much stuff with them. You can even have it set up for like maybe a party and put different types of treats in there. So you can really make take this and switch it up and use it for multiple things in your home. For the next DIY, I'm gonna be making over this let it snow sign that I made during Christmas time. I'm gonna remove the inside of it and paint the back of it um, pink to create a Valentine's Day sign. This sign is so versatile because you can paint on both sides and reuse it. So I don't have to mess up the side that I created for Christmas. I can use the side for Christmas during Christmas time next year and also use this side that I'm painting pink for Valentine's Day. Now the little decor piece that I'm going to add to the middle of this is the little houses ornaments that I share with you guys on Instagram that I found at Walmart for 98 cents. I found this one that is beige and I also found a pink one and you'll be seeing how I do the pink one in just a minute. But I'm just going to glue it to the middle of this sign and at first I was going to use a jingle block piece to kind of make it you know stick out a little bit more but because this ornament's already thick as it is I didn't need the jingle block piece so I decided to take the jingle block piece off and then just glue this um glue the little house directly to the sign and it already had like kind of like a 3d effect because the ornament was already thick as it is now for the little pink ornament house i'm going to actually glue it to this little buffalo check um checkerboard shadow box that I used during Christmas time. If you guys seen my Christmas DIYs, you saw that I used this one in my coffee bar. Well, I ripped off the ornament that I had in the middle of it that was Christmas time related. And now I'm gonna glue this little house to it. Now I am gonna use the jingle block piece to make it come out a little bit more because this little shadow box is a little bit thicker than the last one. And so I wanted the pink house to pop out more. So I'm gonna put the little jingle block piece um, in the middle and then just glue the house on top of it. And here's how these two turned out. And I love it when I can take existing home decor that I have and just switch it up for each holiday. For the next DIY, we're gonna make some cute Valentine's Day marshmallow people out of these foam dice that they have at Dollar Tree. So the first thing I did was I painted it completely white. And then for their little hats, I'm gonna use this Valentine's Day scarf. They have other patterns, but I loved this pattern. They kind of had like a buffalo check that was kind of Valentine's Day style. And these scarves, the way that they made them now is they kind of made them like the infinity scarves. They did connect them together. So I'm just gonna cut down the line of the little pattern just to make sure that there's no like harsh lines. And then I'm gonna wrap it around the big die and the small die to see the size that I need to go around the, the dice. Now for the big ones, I actually counted eight squares and then for the smaller one I actually counted six squares but you can do what you feel is the right you know circumference around it but for me the way that I wanted to overlap it eight of the squares were perfectly went around the big one and six squares perfectly run around the small one to give the look of a winter hat I took the ends and rolled them up and glued them down so it kind of has that rim that most of those winter hats have Then I laid over that folded part onto the top part of the dice so I can see where I want it lined up to where I can make it to glue it down for the hat part. And once I did that, I saw that it was a little bit too thick for the dice. So I rolled it up one more time and glued it down. And then I used the hot glue to attach it to the top of the dice as well. Now to bunch the top part up together, you could use a rubber band, but I wanted to keep the colors the same. So I cut a piece of the scarf and I used it to tie around the top and then I just cut off the excess pieces.
Now I wanted to give my winter hat a floppy look so to do this I found the middle part of the top part and just cut it um, just cut down the middle and that way I have two flaps on either side. To create some of the features of the face, I took a black Sharpie marker and I took the one that's like a fine point. And so for the eyes, all I did was I did like some half circles and then I added some little slashes to them to make them look like eyelashes. And then for a smile, I just did a regular half circle smile um, for the mouth. For the cute little pink cheeks, I just took a paintbrush and used the opposite end and dipped it into some paint and kind of just made circles with the, the opposite end of the paintbrush. And basically I started off small and then I kind of compared them both on either side to see how big I wanted them. So I would always say start off with a small little dot um, and see how you like it. And then if you want it a little bit bigger, just do little circles around the dot until you get the size of the little rosy cheeks that you want. And look how this cute little face turned out you guys and I'm actually proud of myself because if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that my free hand is not the best and my hands are constantly shaky so I'm super proud of myself that I was able to create this and it came out so cute because I wasn't sure about it so if I can make it guys you can make it and I think these are so absolutely adorable they'll be great in a coffee bar and a tear tray I just love these little Valentine's Day marshmallow people this last DIY you guys is more of a makeover not much of a DIY I found these wooden hearts at Dollar Tree in the Dollar Tree plus section it was only three dollars which, which I thought was a great deal because to DIY this you couldn't even do it for three dollars with three different things from Dollar Tree and so all I did was I took some black stickers and I decided that I was going to put me and my husband and my kids um, nicknames on it to basically the big heart represents me and my husband and we created the two other hearts which are my daughters and that is it for today's video you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it as always let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite and also guys let me know what you guys have been up to a lot of things have been happening lately for everyone around the world and i've been mia because i have a lot of different things going on in my house as well which i'll probably do a vlog day sharing with you guys different things if you guys would like to hear that but let me know what's going on in your world because i would love to see what's going on in your life as well and i'll catch you in my next video guys bye Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.